everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we will be doing my main TBR. Let's get going. So I actually decided to do this in a different TBR. I thought it would be a cool idea, so that's why I'm doing it. So in this video, we are actually going to read books from 1997 because why not travel back in time? It's a fun time. So my first book from 1997 is Sanctuary by Nava Roberts and we're following Photographer Jo Ellen Hathaway thought she had escaped the house called Sanctuary long ago. She had spent her loneliest years there after the sudden unexplained disappearance of her mother. Yet the sprawling in on an island off the Georgia coast continues to haunt her dreams. And now, even more haunting are the pictures someone is sending her. Strange close-ups and candidates culminating in the most shocking portrait of all, a photo of her mother. Naked, beautiful, and dead. And my next book is The Climb, Tragic Ambitions on Everest by Anatoly Burkleev, G. Weston DeWalt. As the climbers of the 1996 Mount Everest disaster vanished into thin air, one man had the courage to bring them alive. On May 10, 1996, two commercial expeditions headed by expert leaders attempted to scale the world's largest peak, but things went terribly wrong. Crowded conditions, bad judgment, and a bitter storm stopped many climbers in their tracks. Others were left, were left for dead or stranded on a frigid mountain. Anatoly Bukhlyev, Hayd, head climbing guide for the Mountain Madness expedition, stepped into the heart of the storm and brought three of his clients down the line. So, and it's basically the story of how we're following. It is an amazing story of the expedition, of the dangerous attempts to climb Mount Everest. So, I have always been fascinated by Mount Everest. I think this will be a really interesting read. It will be heavy as well because it does like a lot of threats happening in Mount Everest because of what it is and who he and who it is. So I can't remember the woman, but there's a woman who was the first climber to go on Mount Everest, so kudos for her. That must have been like such an amazing accomplishment. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to read this book. Next book is Pretend You Don't See Her by Mary Higgins Clark. What happens when a young woman is accidentally caught up in a dangerous murder investigation, having nearly been in the wrong place at the wrong time? Lacey Farrell, a rising star on the Manhattan real estate scene, is witness to a murder and to the final words of the victim. The dying woman is convinced her attacker was after her dead daughter's journal, which Lacey gives to the police, but not before making copy for herself. It's an impulse that later proves nearly fatal. Placed in a witness protection program and sent to live in Minneapolis, Lacey must assume a fake identity at least until the killer can be brought to trial. There she meets Tom Lynch, a radio talk show host whom she intentionally begins to date, until the strain of her deception makes her break it off. There she discovers the killer has traced her whereabouts. Armed with nothing more than her own courage and clues from the journal, Lacey heads back to New York, determined to uncover who is behind the deathbeds of the two women before she is the next casualty. So my next one is kind of interesting. I kind of feel like this is non-fiction but at the same time it's not really. And that is The Number Devil, a Mathematical Adventurer by Maltrot Susan Brennan, Micah Henry Hain, who is the translator, and Hans Magnus Enstenbergen. I'm sorry if I say that wrong. So this is like a thrilling exploration, and then we're falling in of dreams. Robert, a boy who hates math, I hate math too, meets a number devil who leads him to discover the amazing world of numbers, infinite numbers, prime numbers, Fibonacci numbers, numbers that magically appear in triangles, and numbers that expand without. As we dream with him, we are taken further and further into mathematical theory, where ideas eventually take flight until everyone, from those who fumble over fractions to those who solve complex equations in their heads. Those are some smart people. Hans Magnus Enzenberger is a true polymath, the kind of superb intellectual who loves thinking and marshals all of his charm and wit to share his passions with the world. In the number devil, he brings together the surreal logic of Alice in Wonderland and the extensional geometry of Flatland, 
with the kind of math everyone would love. If only they had a number devil to teach it to them. That sounds so exciting. I kind of want to annotate this, but at the same time, like, should I get it as an ebook? I don't know. I was trying to find it as an ebook, which I finally did. So I just might annotate it on the ebook itself. But, um, yeah. So, so yeah, those, so those are all the books for my 1997 main TV on. I'm really excited to read this, so I haven't really done anything like this before, so I think it will be really interesting to see how much the plot has changed, or, like, I, the English will definitely have been changed, I feel like. So, I, we got the English back in the day, and then we got the modern English. So, I feel like that language has been definitely changed. Um, but honestly, when I was like researching a lot of books in 1997, I feel like some of the plot, especially fantasy, they haven't really changed that much in all honesty. So like, back in the days, we also got the chosen heroes, we got the villains, we got people with magical abilities, and this and that. And we still have those books today. So I really feel like that kind of uh, plot hasn't changed, so... I, um, I did want to read The Broken Sword by Michelle West, but I could not find any copy online at all. So, I don't know if I'm gonna like buy it, maybe, I don't know, but it really sounds interesting. But I don't know if I'm gonna have that as a TV on because after May, I might go back to writing and kind of take a little bit of break from reading again, which is something I had done before. I would still read audiobooks. And maybe like bring one or two physical books here and there. But uh, yeah, I really do want to stop writing again. I am on my final book of my Fire Wave trilogy. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be epic. So if you do want to read my, my Fire Wave, the links will be down below. The book 1 and 2 have been already been released. So if you like superheroes, aliens, and creepy shadows, it's all been linked down below. So... Well, that's fun. But anyways, that's it for my May TV out. Let me know what you're reading in the month of May. So please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time you post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!